Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode around sensors and microcontrollers. In video number 147 I said that the Arduino IDE can only use one serial connection of the three available on the ESP32. A viewer told me that this is wrong and pointed me into the right direction. And then I even found a third secret serial connection. Let's start. According to the datasheet, the ESP32 chip has three universal asynchronous receiver transmitters, abbreviated UART, U0, U1 and U2. Each of them exposes four pins, RX, TX, RTS and CTS. The Arduino IDE only uses RX and TX pins and we will later see what CTS and RTS means. If we use serial begin, U0 with pins 1 and 3 is used. These pins usually are also named RX, TX on our boards. If we want to use one of the other two UARTs, we have to define them first not as with the Arduino Mega, where they were already predefined. The command is hardware serial, serial 1 or 2, and in parentheses the number of the UART. Here we have a sketch which defines serial 1 on U1 and serial 2 on U2. Next we issue a serial begin for all three UARTs and print test messages to all channels. Unfortunately, the ESP32 crashes after uploading the sketch. Not what I expected. What could be the reason? Let's quickly check the pins. U1 pins are GPIO 9 and 10 and U2 pins are GPIO 16 and 17. But on my Excel sheet from video number 149 Pins GPIO 9 and 10 are marked red. Why? Because they are internally connected to the flash memory and you even do not find them on normal boards. So we cannot use U1 only U2 for serial communication. So at least we have an official second serial connection. But where is the secret one? The ESP32 has the capability to use nearly all GPIOs as pins for serial connections. We just have to define it. But where? The definition is done by the IDE itself in the file hardwareserial.cpp. Here we see the definitions. If we change the definition of U1 to GPIO4 and 2 and save the file, the ESP32 does not crash anymore. And if we connect the FTDI adapter to GPIO2, we can see the output. How cool is that? Of course you could choose other pins. But if you update the ESP32 files, this patch will disappear and your ESP will crash again. And because we deal with serial do you remember what CTS and RTS stands for? In the early days of computing, processors were not fast and also had not big buffers for serial communication. This is why additional signals were used to signal the sender that the receiver was busy and no more able to read any data. So RTS means request to send and CTS clear to send. In our days, these signals are no more used because the processors are very fast and the serial drivers have buffers built in to store incoming traffic even if the processor is busy. So summarized, with the ESP32 we can use two serial connections with the standard Arduino IDE and an additional one with a small patch. And we also know now why we only need two wires for serial communications, not four as in the old days. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, then like. Bye.